Heidi Ho, YouTubers. I thought I'd uh, show you this. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty cold out yet this morning. It's supposed to be uh, really nice, so I'm hoping to get out and do some work on the barn. But um, it's cold right now, so I'm sitting in here by the fire. I ran out and grabbed one of the windows out of the barn, and I got these a couple years ago. A uh, lady paid me to replace her windows, four of them in her house. I think she paid me a couple hundred bucks, and. So I threw the old ones in the truck and hauled them home. They've been in the garage ever since, but they're going to work just fine for the barn. But they're in pretty bad shape, so uh, glass is all coming loose out of them and stuff. The lady put uh, nails in there to try and, you know, hold the glass in. Pretty bad news. So I thought I'd show you how to rework one of these because... Uh, I don't know, if you live in an older house now, it might be a handy thing for you to know, or uh, who knows where you might wind up bugging out to, and you might have to do this, because uh, this thing leaks air like uh, it might as well not even have glass in it, so um, how to seal all this up and do the proper job, and it's kind of a lost art, and... Uh, you know, who knows, you might, if, even for you gals, anybody could do this, and uh, it might be a good barter skill for the future, too, so, anyway, thought I'd show you. Uh, first thing I gotta do is get all these nails out of here, and, and uh, gently chisel out what's left of the glazing putty, let's see if I can... Zoom some of this in for you. It's in pretty bad shape. So I'll uh, take my little putty knife there and tap all that stuff out and clean it up, and uh, we'll go from there. are called glazing points. They'll do what the nails were supposed to do. You can get them for, I don't know if you can see that, a couple bucks at the hardware store. Might be a good thing to prep and stock up on. Um, they got a little bitty lip on here and you can push the pointy thing right into the wood. I don't know if you can see that. But be careful don't go at a high angle. Go flat to the glass so you don't chip the glass. And those will hold the glass into the frame so it won't fall out. Do about uh, I don't know, eight or ten around the window. This is called glazing putty. Glazing compound. I don't know. You can get it at your local hardware store. Hey, let's do a contest. If anybody can figure out what was traditionally used instead of this in the old days and do a video to show it 
I'll send you one of my books. How's that? Okay, so you... I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. So I just like to make a little rope-like. Oh, wait. i got to show you something else first. I almost forgot. Okay, good. Good thing I didn't forget that. If you take a little bit of linseed oil, just wash that window, and rub it right around that edge of the wood. Just a thin coat. It'll make your glazing putty last a lot longer because the wood won't dry the oil. Out of the putty. And clean the wood up some too. <laughs> Folks, take your rag or this is a paper towel, whatever. That's got linseed oil or wood stain or anything like that and put it somewhere where it can't burn your house down because these things can spontaneously combust, catch fire all on their own. This one's going in the wood stove. Okay. Now I can start puttying. make a rope like that and then push it into the surfaces all the way around real good. Okay YouTubers, this next part takes a little practice but Get a nice thin little putty knife like this one. all the way around and she's putty. And here's the after. Good enough for a goat barn, I guess. <laughs> 